Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. My name is Bear. The bustling city of Berstatska now with 450 residents and we've managed to build a perimeter around our east side which feels great. Uh, I'm gonna put more layers on this I think. Oh, I didn't realize that would be happening. That was a bit of a mistake. Shit. Okay, well, sorry guys. <laughs> Soldier skill plus not- oh, that's kind of cool. It looks like they acquire more skill the longer they stay in their post. That's a neat little feature. Yeah, that's super cool. Okay, well, again, unfortunately can't really do that at the moment. We are going to build layer two of our massive eastern perimeter. As much of it as I can anyway at the moment because this is still a high priority item. I need to get it going. Our food production is now looking a lot better with those, uh, with this windmill down up here and the extra farms. We are certainly benefiting from the, uh, added production. That is, you know, man, like, I think I just go ahead and demolish all these, put a farm down there because it is, it's benefiting. And then I could probably stand to put, like, what if I demolish this well and put it here instead? Or I could just have a second one. That's probably not a bad idea at all, actually. Let's just put another well down. Fuck it. Blocked by existing... Oh, wait. No, that's a farm. Yeah, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. We got a dragon coming. I know. Don't worry about it. I'm aware. Take him out! Leap! Leap, my friend! Okay, he's kind of piercing a vulnerability here. He's... Oh, never mind. He's, he's getting into range. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got it all. It's been really convenient the way that the dragons have decided to pick their flight paths here. Just putting themselves directly in harm's way every single time. <laughs> he is getting massacred. Wow. Holy shit. There he goes. Watch out. Oh, God. Yeah, he actually destroyed it. <laughs> I didn't think he would do that. Holy shit. I think he killed somebody. My God. All right, well, good job, everybody. Well done. Handled another dragon attack with ease. It's really the Vikings that are giving us the biggest issue by far now. And you know what? I've been thinking about taking advantage of these tiles forever. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. And I can even use these ones, although... That seems a little silly. There's another dragon? No, I don't think so. Sire, dragons are no match for our might. That is right. Okay, improve past the granary. I'm pretty sure is not necessary anymore. We are good to go. Plus 161 change last year. We've got all the money we could ever need. I need more charcoal again somehow. Yet again, that becomes an issue. Uh, let's complete the removal of this stone. It's another very fertile tile, man. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, we are building the farm here, right? So they're gonna finish that up pretty quick. We got another well there, which is a little bit of overkill, but fuck it. Uh, these are all... Man, this... When the snow falls, I just, I cannot tell what the color is. It's so tough. I think I need to put down another manor, actually. In fact, maybe even directly across from these guys. Give them a neighborly situation. One, two, three, four. That seems pretty good. We put two manors down here adjacent from each other, and then... We get the library next door. I like it. I like it. Let's do that. That is front door right there, and I want to put another one down. Nearly got the resources for it. Let's just hold off for it for a second. This sounds like a new song. I don't know if I've heard this one yet. Hold on. Zoom in a little. Let the let the music play. Oh, it's so it's so sad. Is it for Dave Borrell? The people loved him. Dave Borrell. Nope, oh, never mind. It's not sad anymore. Okay, we're good. We're good. I, had to, I, was gonna, I was ready to give him a eulogy and everything. Poor Dave Borle. This is some, like, Skyrim Town Day stuff I got going on all of a sudden with the audio here. It's so pleasant. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. We got to get back to uh, the, the bustling marketplace. No more. Whoa. Things have changed. Berstatska has grown. No longer is this the central central uh, focus of town. All kinds of people doing all kinds of stuff. What a crazy place. I like it. 
Okay. Anyway. They think I'm an excellent ruler. I think they're excellent peasants. Goes both ways. We are feeling good, man. I think building yet another forester right out here is probably not the worst idea in the world. How about we chop that? Build a road uh, right out. Two tiles probably ought to do the job. Something like this. Build that right there, and then we'll build another forester right here or right there. Get a little bit more of that uh, log supply coming in, and uh, let's start making even more progress on our castle wall here. Might have to consider putting a gate in here somewhere. Not 100% sure where that's going to be yet, but if I end up expanding up in this direction a little bit more, we'll have to do something like build the wall out like this, all up around here. That's going to be quite the undertaking if I uh, end up actually doing that. Oh, hey, we have these two things available. No idols at the moment, though. Okay, so that's that's why that's happening. That's just an iron mine as well. I thought it was a quarry. I was going to put another quarry there and down there at some point, I think, but I, I guess I changed my mind. As I tend to do. There's the quarry right there, though. That's probably where I replaced it with. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and speed things up again. We've been on one for a minute here. Got okay, two manors in the second layer of our castle wall going up on the east side. We could put more piers down here, of course, as well to continue to build out this wall along the water. Uh, how are we doing otherwise? Our food supply is looking pretty good right now. We do need more charcoal. I had mentioned that before, and the manors are going to need them as well. So I think we may... Uh, how about this? How about this crazy little plan here? We just make this the charcoal-making hub of the city. Six charcoal makers... All right next to a blacksmith who has no charcoal because it's too far away or none is available. Clearly, yes, that's a pervasive problem for you. However, will we fix it? Hmm. You just do not ever want paths to the granary to stop being more accessible. That is all he ever cares about. Using tools over here. We got a good supply of tools now from the blacksmith, so that feels good. I'm going to be able to remove any stone I need to. Uh, speaking of which, I'm kind of tempted to just do that. To remove about every unusable stone I can find. Maybe even this one to build out our wall one section further. Looks like I can just walk through it anyway, though, so I guess it doesn't really matter. These things are taking a minute to get done, too. How many folks we got? We got five builders working on them. Okay, so it's just a matter of supply, I suppose. I think I really need, need to uh, start focusing more on getting more foresters and quarries down. So let's look at, like, the best possible new location for a quarry. Where's that going to be? Maybe over here. This is unusable stone, right? So that's not going to do it. I've got... Oh, God, the friggin' snow I really wish would stop. I know I've got, like, one usable stone over here somewhere. Or I think I do, anyway. Most of this is unusable. This is already being quarried. The seasons will change soon. This might... Oh, this is an available one to quarry. Okay, so... How about... This is an unfortunate placement of a bunch of shit here, isn't it? What if we got rid of this iron mine and it just built this out and got to the quarry? Because we really don't need that much iron, do we? Oh yeah, we got like an abundance of that shit. Okay, so let's just go ahead and demolish this right now. Uh, build the road to there. And get another quarry going. Because that's clearly what we need more than the, uh, the iron mine. Let's go bam and bam. There it is. Still got stockpiles over there. Probably don't need another one. In fact, we have this stockpile exclusively dedicated to stone, so we'll probably be okay. All right. Our defenses in the center of town are actually pretty formidable, so I'm feeling good about that. We have more charcoal makers down now. We've got a minus eight change still from last year. This is only making what? Two per one log. So we need a lot more logs over here, too, to be able to make both. Another forester on this side makes sense. That is basically what we've been using this area for besides farmland. If I build out to this end, I could build another one pretty easily, but that is fairly risky, unfortunately. I, I do wonder if that's uh, the best thing to do. Oh, that's uh, that was probably a stockpile, I'd imagine. Let's just put another one down real quick. I'm sure they could use it. And then, oh boy. More farms and uh, maybe even like another baker or something here could be nice. How's this baker doing, by the way? Got food and charcoal. Makes four bread per one food and one charcoal. That seems really nice. We've got this market down up here as well. It looks like that's taking care of most of our food issues for these manors in this area. 
I am totally going to build a road out across the uh, perimeter of the uh, the wall, by the way, FYI. And you know what? Road through here as well. Totally. Check this shit out. This is going to be great. I am going to love the way this looks. I guarantee it. I am totally going to love this section of land right here, man. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. I'm just going to put down the entire road because I know damn well that I'm going to do this. That way we can take advantage of all this space perfectly. There it is. Oh my god, I love that so much. I love that so much. It's too wide. Maybe even fill it with manners because we do have... Oh my god, it's almost perfect. Yeah, this is going to be full of manners almost certainly. It's not going to work out perfectly, but it is very, very nice. I like that a lot. We're going to build so many new people there. I love it, I love it. And we got a lot of food right now, so you know what? We could totally do it. We can totally start. Let's see it. I'm going to have this guy face... Let's have him face this way so they can face toward the marketplace. It's probably the smartest option. Probably have all of them face that way, actually. We're going to build one more, in fact. We are just going to have space for so many new people soon. Which means I probably need to put down a couple more farms, even. Up here is probably the next best place to, uh... Start thinking about farm expansion. Also have this, of course, that I've been looking into for a while here. I, I might just build that road soon as well. In fact, let's just do that now. I am 100% sure that I want to build that road right there. It's going to look really nice. We can put a bunch of farms here. Let's just go ahead and start doing that now. All these very fertile tiles. Could use a windmill right there, too, but that is a very fertile tile by itself. So that is a questionable call. We got lots of stone now, and again, seems like foresters are a necessity, man. So we did just build this. Still have this tree marked for chopping down. I think they're about to do that right now, actually. Let's, uh... Let's do that. And then I think a forester right there is a pretty good call. Looks good to me. One more tile out, I guess, would be nice. But, eh, this is probably good enough. Let's just do that. The flooded farm is on fire. That's an interesting situation. Pretty sure they'll be able to handle it. I might want to put another well by there. Right there, in fact. Or on the barren tile is probably better. Well, I mean, they are pretty... They're adjacent to water. They don't need a well. They don't need a well. We're good. 21 found a satisfactory home. Let's make that better, huh? Throw a festival here. We're about to have even more beds. Even more beds. For these fine folks. More happiness from the recent festival as well. Our food output is still just fine. I should probably focus on getting these things ready to go soon too. But the outer, outer perimeter is... Very much a high priority still. Layer 2 nearly complete. Make the foundation much stronger. Still needs so many more logs. Foresters, foresters, foresters. And flooded farms. Hooray! We're getting this one. This one's already going. This one's up and nearly complete. That is a big issue, man. The second quarry has really helped us out quite a bit. The stone output from there is really making a difference, but... I can't believe they're just walking across like this. That's so silly. <laughs> the quickest path for them is to go through this little water bit. Seriously? Well, I'm really glad I have this bridge then, because clearly that was a necessity for them at some point. Alright. Let's finish this up. I think we only had, like, the one more tile to do right there, didn't we? Uh, then we get layer three. Layer three of that bad boy, huh? Now minus 151 for our food. Okay, so that's clearly going to become an issue again very quickly. Let's, uh... Let's see. Build the windmill? Or don't build the windmill? Probably build the windmill, I'd imagine. Improves the farm output directly adjacent. Right here is going to be really nice. Let's go ahead and rotate it so it faces the road as well. Let's put down that road there too. And uh, we'll build the farms right here. And then maybe even just one more farm right there too. Seems good. Seems good, baby. Bam. Running out of logs so fast. Our supply of stone 
much, much higher than our supply of logs at the moment, unfortunately. So that's going to be a weird balance to try to maintain. Minus 151 again. How you feeling, buddy? Hmm. Viking raiders may be coming. Let's fortify as best we can. They want a treasure room and a path to the granary. Her saying Viking raiders are coming leads me to believe that I should probably go ahead and start building these things right here. Oh, we need way more logs yet again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. How am I going to make this better? You know, it's probably the amount of charcoal makers I just made that is uh, causing our log shortage, isn't it? Yeah, I think having just built two or three more of these is... Quickly uh, increasing the consumption of logs. Vikings from the southwest! We can handle this! We're equipped for it! Let's put our foot soldiers in place. We've got a large army to the north, actually. We're going to bring those guys all down, too, as well. Here they are. Sir Genin. Sir Genin. Where are they landing? Right here. Oh, we got this. They got an ogre. They got two. They got three. They got four. Oh, boy. Four... Forger. That's what we're dealing with here. Four ballistas. May be able to handle it. Let's find out. Where are they gonna go? What's their plan? I'm gonna watch like a hawk. Where the little guys end up going. My goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Viking ships. Ten Viking ships are attacking. You know what? Get out there and fight back. Oh my god, they broke through the castle wall. Oh boy, okay. That's no good. Where's our large army? Has it already come down? Oh my goodness. Get the ogre! There they are. There they are. Take him out. Take out the ogre! Or these guys. That's fine, too. Get him in the choke point. This wall is down. Oh, no. That's where they're going for, for sure. All right, we've got him locked down in the choke point right there, and then this large army should be able to fend him off right here, too. Let's find out. Going pretty well. I don't think the ballistas can... Oh, wait, no, they are shooting. Okay, so we're good there. They're trying to get... Are they trying to get through the bridge and they can't? And we shot them down! Or no, 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 they just landed on the bridge. Okay, that's, that kind of sucks. Okay, putting the water out. Oh, this large army is taking names here. This is great. Oh, they're landing on this side too. Shit, okay, we gotta get them over here. Vikings have come. Come on, this way. This way, they're coming. They're wreaking havoc on the town. Let's go. Over that way. Hurry up. Everyone. Everyone. Go, 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 go. All right, let's work on this real quick. Their ship has sunk. That's a good sign for me. No one visited. That's acceptable. I'm fine. I, I, I got bigger fish to fry right now. Too high. Okay. Fire has claimed a manor! No! Right there. Shit. We can rebuild. We can rebuild, no problem. Manor. Boom. Done. Oh my god, a dragon as well. Seize a dragon. Oh, I, t I do too, buddy. It's okay. Is this a new one? Oh shit, I think this is a new dragon. Oh boy. Alright, I think the Vikings are gone. So that's good. He looks bigger. He looks bigger and more frightening. Luckily, they continue to swim or to fly directly into the line of sight of my ballistas and archers. Don't light the granary on fire. Oh, God. He's only getting hit by one. No, two. Okay. Little bits of damage. Come on now. There we go. There we go. That's in range. Get him. Take him out. Melissa's still freaking out over there. Grandmaster Woodcutter, though. That's cool. Windmill's almost done. Okay, he's probably going to take off now. Right? Yeah, he's getting out of here. Good. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Rebuilding down here. Rebuilding the manor we lost. I think that's about it. You coming back now? You're getting out of here. Okay, good. Wonderful. Oh, boy. So, now... What's the plan? Fixing this. 
Still gotta increase our supply of wood. Food is actually looking good now. Pass the granary, make sure people have enough to eat. That dragon would think twice before heading our way again. <laughs> I think it's time for the final layer of our eastern wall. Not a stone gate. Layer three. Pretty sure I'm not going to go with a four layer wall. Even though it is tempting. And now we desperately got to get our supply of wood up. This is just, this is just not good. Still need our, well, you know what? We could maybe turn off one charcoal maker. Let's turn off this guy. Probably don't need that much. The iron is probably no longer necessary either. At least we don't have to run every single iron mine. So how about, oh, we already turned off that one. Let's turn off, let's see. We can use the idols as well, obviously. Let's turn off like every iron mine, basically. Let's do this one. And we do have two functioning right next to each other, I guess, so we can easily turn off both of those. And, uh, those idols are already occupied by construction. I almost want to just build another mana right away. And we can throw another festival to get those idols real quickly. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Oh, we still need the logs. Still need the logs. That's right. Shit. Shit. The need for logs never pauses. Hmm. Those three foresters, I think, are functioning fairly well. Just gonna keep this as is. Building another forester right here is probably a good idea. But they would have to walk for days and days to be able to actually bring the resources back. Could build one, like, right here. It's probably not a bad idea. Maybe, in, like, up like this. Or even right there, in fact. Would probably be fine. We could just do that as like a temporary one, too. Let's just do that for now. We'll probably demolish that and replace it with something else in the not-too-distant future, but for now it's helpful. And I really want to put down another hospital, but it might not be necessary. I'm just sort of assuming that that's a precaution I should take, but maybe I should wait and see if it is. What other things do we need over here for these guys? We've got the marketplace sort of centralized to these new buildings. Uh, none of these are really all that necessary over here. Library could be good, I suppose. I could build this. I've totally got the resources to build this. I want to build it in the water. That'd be great. Lord Levi. Where are you going? How about right there? Yeah. Totally. That's awesome. That's a great spot for that, actually. It's a perfect little inter, uh, two by two section of the castle for that area. Hmm. Excellent ruler indeed. I did just build them a massive statue to worship myself. I assume. Oh, is that a four high? God, I hope not. That would look so awkward. All right. Closing in on what I'm looking for here, man. It's feeling good. It's feeling good. The three high defense. It's gonna be higher than our manners. Look at all those manners. Oh my god, look at the way this is developing. That little bridge over there. The perimeter being established. Look at this little city, man. There's our general just waiting back there. That's so cool. Very satisfying to see all this coming to, uh... Coming to a head here. Love it, love it, love it. One more manor there. Maybe just hold off until I've got the resources to fill it, finish layer three. I think they've finished this forester. Almost done by now, now. Let's, uh... What else can we do? How much I have that I need to prioritize, I don't think. Let's turn off the production of tools for a second. Oh, he's not making anything now. You know what? Let's turn off this blacksmith then. Probably not really necessary at the moment. Let's uh, close you down for a, for a little while. Turn on the production of both, but for later, I suppose. He never stops saying that, does he? Never, ever, ever. We're at a minus 200, though, so I suppose I should start listening to him. Need to uh, add a few more farms to the mix. Not 100% sure where that's going to be, though. None saw fit to stay. Really? 
Our happiness is pretty good, I thought. Oh well. I guess I don't know anything. It's done. It is done, boys and girls. The three high defense on the eastern perimeter is complete. My goodness, that is satisfying. That is going to protect us well. Really want to put another mana right there, too. It just seems like it fits so well. But that is going to take away their neighbor's bonus, unfortunately. Yeah, they, they want to be a little happier. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to build a road up like this. I think I might actually just keep the road going along the perim perimeter outside and connect them up like that. But that way, unfortunately, I wouldn't be taking full advantage of these spaces, I don't think. I might have to build, like, a cottage or something here. Which would be okay, I guess. In fact, I'm curious. If I build a cottage here, would that give them the neighbor's benefit and then I could build the road up like this? I bet it would. I bet it would. I want to see. Let's find out. I'm going to put it there basically no matter what now. So, there. Put that down. It does! It totally adds that neighbor's happiness. Holy shit. What if I just put another cottage right there then? I'm totally going to do that. I'm totally going to do that. Just because I like the way it looks so much. I am very pleased by this. Yes. Thank you, thank you. We build the road. Just like that. And allow it to connect. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Bill Woods, no! Not Bill! I love little Billy. How did he get so old? Keep putting them down, baby. There we go. They got the neighbor's bonus. All of them got the neighbor's bonus. That is just wonderful. And I think I might even do that manor cottage thing again right here. Build the road up like this. Manor cottage. I love it. I love it. Alternatively, we could build, like, another hospital here, as I continually mention. I feel might be necessary. Just give them quicker access to the, uh... To the healing. They are walking right through that. That is so weird. I guess it, uh, solves the problem, though, doesn't it? Yeah. How bizarre. I wonder if they would prefer it if I, like, demolished this, built a cottage here, and then, like, let the road connect down through this way. I would probably prefer that, actually. Because, like, imagine you're at this marketplace, and your house is right here. Your options, unless I destroy this, are to walk out, walk across the water, and get in that way, which apparently they have no problem doing, or... Go all the way down this road, all the way down here, and then all the way over like this. Where, if I destroyed this guy, built the road straight through, then we wouldn't have that problem. We also have 50 idols right now. I should probably find some shit for them to do. I guess with all these idols, I might as well go ahead and keep producing this stuff. And uh, let's recruit an army as well. Oh yeah, this is done. Guardian of the forest and all its creatures. How fun. I love it. And let's recruit like a bunch more soldiers because we have a... Uh, well, we don't have a lot of armaments, do we? We really don't. We really don't. So let's uh, get the production going again. Sure. And then we could definitely use another forester with how many idols we've got right now. So let's, uh, let's work on that. Build some more farms ideally as well. Although the change in food is surprisingly in our favor. Which means more manners, but again, we don't have any uh, projects to do, so... Oh, how about this? How about we start building... Well, first of all, let's go ahead and build up the uh, next layer of these guys as well. Because I think I am going to keep that thing there. Once this is finished up, we'll start uh, building the defenses on top. So, let's start as I had before with the archer towers on each corner. And then uh, I think I'm going to do like a ballista. Probably in the middle or something like that. Maybe like two or three ballistas along each wall. Now we can just have archer towers on the corners. That kind of sounds like fun. Let's do it that way. And, uh, man, I is still in just in desperate need of more foresters. I think I, uh... Where is going to be, like, a safe place to do that, though, is the thing. There's really nothing. Like, down on this island, I suppose, but then I definitely have to build the wall down here. Or maybe I wouldn't. 
Maybe I could just risk it. But then we'd have to move the wood all the way up to here as well. Like, I really want to keep it centralized around this location just because... They've got the stockpiles here and stuff. What if I did this? This sounds like fun. Let's do this. I'm going to build a stone gate right through here where this road goes. So let's go ahead and finish off this road as well because I know I'm going to do that. I'm going to go bam, 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 bam. Build it all along this and uh, down the wall here. I'm going to fill this stuff up with uh, new things. Demolish this and build the gate. There we go. Sweet. And that way, we can build a road up here to uh, access a forester up on this side. So how about we destroy this guy, rebuild him like a little further out. Let's do that. I'm going to chop down all these trees. Get rid of all this shit that's in our way here. Allow the road to come up as well. And uh, we're going to build foresters. Maybe even like two or three. So we have a hundred idle people right now, so that, we gotta fix that pretty quickly. In fact, let's go ahead and start recruiting a shitload more over here. Twenty more soldiers, and I've got another... Well, I've got a general that probably doesn't have a very strong army that I could, uh... Send over here, I'm sure. Where is everybody? I, I need, like, a unit locator. Oh, they're, they're all right there, I guess. So yeah, that makes it easy enough, doesn't it? Let's send them... I really liked having them, like, guard specific locations. Let's have this guy... Stay over here and stay alert. And let's have you check the southern wall. Just make sure we're good there. Let's start building these piers out again, too. Actually, no. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Let's get these foresters up right now. I've got all this wood being chopped down. I'm going to build this massive road out to here. Uh, not a massive road, but a road all the same. Go like this. And then I'm going to put a forester down right there, I think. Go ahead and get that going. And... Another one, like, right over here. Will probably be good. Like, right there, actually, seems like a great spot. So let's chop this down. Build another road like this. Oh, that's gotta be chopped as well. Okay, cool. Speed it up. Speed it up. How's our food output looking? Minus 200. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. We're gonna fix that. Yep. Once we improve our production of logs. Once we have done so, the food is the next priority. For sure. Come on now. There we go. Alright, that's done. Sweet! Maybe just build the wall out like this and then I'll enca encapsulate the entirety of our town? Probably not a terrible idea. And we can get rid of this stone here as well. I'm just going to do that for sure. We'll chop down this tree. Where would be... I would have to go, like, up like this. Maybe even past these stone and then all the way up like that? That's probably not a terrible idea, because I'm going to build out to here eventually, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that plan at all, in fact. Let's go ahead and lay the foundation for that, too. Let's go boom, 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 boom. Chop that. Get rid of that. And then we'll build all the way across. Can't build on the water, of course. We're going to build piers here and build that wall all the way out like that we'll stick down here for now but i'm just gonna lay the foundation for that to be the plan moving forward and uh yeah we're gonna call it good for this episode of kingdoms and castles thank you very much for watching hope you're enjoying it still leave a like on the video as well it does of course support me a great deal and i'll see you in the next one